Okay, and welcome back to Drill from the Wingland. We're now at the Witch Center. Again, same day, November 20th. We're going to watch Wildcat Hockey. UNH versus UMass Lowell.
get get tossed out. And we're back and we just finished up watching the UNH versus UMass hockey game where UMass loses to the UNH Wildcats 2-1 to one in overtime so folks thanks for watching we'll talk a little more on the way home though And welcome back to Joe from New England. We're sitting here listening to some Piano Rob on Facebook on the way home. And you can't see me that well because, well, guess what? It's dark outside. But uh, we're heading home. And uh, I'm in the shadow right here. You can't even see yeah, my glasses. Yeah, you can be able to see my glasses, can't you? So let me put some light on the situation real quick. Okay, that should help. There we go. That's better. All right, so we got Piano Rob on going on, and I just want to say thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed today's uh, UNH stream. It's going to be a, uh, well, I think I'll just make this its own day. Uh, I was thinking maybe adding this to a combination of other uh, videos I had. I'm going to have a couple of shots of uh, some of our trips uh, combined into a single vlog up this way so but uh, the season's not over because it's only November for hockey and that goes all the way up till March so um, the good news is we won two to one we were winning one to nothing with about one point something seconds left and uh, and they um, and they did score so uh, that UMass scored to tie the game but we're we took the uh, took the win in overtime with uh, not even 37 seconds into the not even 33 seconds into the period 32 or 33 seconds uh, into the period we ended up scoring in the overtime period and uh, we won two to one so UMass won two to one uh, correction UNH won two to one over UMass and. But the football game, that's a different story. We had a, one time we had a 21, a 20 to 10 lead and we lost 33 to 20. But uh, my, uh, our thoughts and prayers go out to number 50 from UNH, was carted off on a stretcher. So uh, to uh, number 50's family, and I'll get that information and um, either cut it in here or uh, put it on the bottom here. But uh, number 50 for UNH um, went down hard and uh, he was cut off. Um, so our thoughts, our prayers to that family. And uh, we hope everything does come out on the positive side of that. Uh, UNH also had another player go down after that. Uh, he was carted off as well. I think that was concussion protocol because there was a confirmation of targeting. 71 from Maine was ejected for it. So, uh, not saying it was intentional, but it was, you know, it, it, it was, uh, it happens in football. It happens. So, and uh, we hope, we hope our, that, that play, I didn't get, no, no, didn't remember the number uh, that got concussed. Uh, on that play, but uh, hopefully he's he's well as well. So, with that, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you get a chance to catch Piano Rob, get him once in a while on Facebook. Rob Volte, Piano Rob. 
and if you get down to the boathouse at Disney Springs, he's there usually Saturday nights, um, I think Friday nights too, um, in the evenings, and uh, you can sit down and listen to him uh, with uh, him or another one other person on the on the two pianos. So quite often he's there. So uh, check him out on uh, on Facebook. Um, I don't know if he has a YouTube channel, but uh, you might hear him in the background here. So, all right. With that, hopefully he doesn't uh, it doesn't uh, copyright this stuff. Bro. So listen, I want to say uh, have a great day. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and uh, we'll catch you later on. As we say in the amateur radio world, 7-3. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye.